gather around children, we hot boxing and drinking Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. It might just be enough for a few sips, but we 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 all right, right, right. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Tix Box. Um, today we're actually you know what we're actually doing something new. UC actually convinced me to shoot a video of this, so um, I'm not actually sure if this is actually going to go on YouTube because um, it does have some very adult images in it, so it's like, I'm not really sure we can monetize this shit, but to be honest, I'm still doing it for the love of the game, so what the fucking hell anyway. Um... So, this might be the first ever video brought to you by the Bar Networks from, and the Bar TV. So, I'd like to welcome you to the possible first ever video. Or, I think, is this the third episode? A fifth? If it's not, fourth, fourth, fourth episode of Tate's Thoughts. Thank you all for tuning in once again. Um, today, I'm just going to be at, um, answering a few um, questions. That I've Like, people always be asking me some questions. So, anytime, I just want to answer them, answer them on here. So, anytime, like, someone asks me that, I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to link you the video because it's, like, it's a whole other discussion because I have to go through people, like, being amazed that, Either I can handle so much alcohol or I'm so free about talking about sex. And if, you know what, if you stay tuned, I'm going to tell you a story, a very special story about what happened this quarantine and my sex life. Alright? So, but let's jump on to the first FAQ. Alright? Fuck! <laughs> Someone out there knows what I mean. <laughs> So, um, the first question that I get a lot is, um, do you drink a lot or is it just for the nerves? <sighs> okay. I usually only attend parties that require alcohol. So... I, and I only hang out with people who usually drink alcohol because they're, look, right, I have learned to stick with people who have the same vices as me, as they appear, bro, as me, okay, because it's just like, everyone, apart from everyone being so judgmental as we all know, blah, 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 way of the world and all that shit, but it's just like, I would like to avoid that first and foremost. I know everyone is judgmental, but save my heart and let me just hang out with people that I know are just as bad, air quotes, as me. But yeah, I drink a lot. I love drinking. I love the taste of alcohol. I love being buzzed. Um, I don't, the, you know what? I. There's just something about being in that state of mind. I just love being buzzed. It's just like, it's not that, oh, it takes away my troubles, it takes away my... No. Mm. None of that really stop you bullshit. Yes, it's like, oh, stress relief and like, other. Uh, I forget what's really bothering me, but it's just like, for like a minute. It doesn't really dumb me down to that point where, oh, okay, this joint is going to take me away from everything. No, it's not. Two minutes later, I'm going to be thinking about what I'm thinking. But it's just like, that state of business is amazing to me. It's a state of euphoria, tranquility, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's, it's a state where I feel more, more like myself, where I do not feel like I am of this world, but I am, because I experience things, I try to think I experience things on the other side of some other realm. Because I believe in things deeper than this and you know fairies and all that crappy bullshit. But, hey, I like drinking and 
yes, it does ease me out, but I do like the taste of alcohol more than anything. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, moving on, I know I don't have Corona, fuck you all. We are never gonna get monetized. We are never gonna get monetized. But yeah, um, so the second question I have is basically, did your boyfriend choose this username Gorilla? Why? Uh, the answer to that is no, he did not choose that pseudonym. I chose it for him. And um, there's a funny story around that because this was before we was cheating and um, I had just met him. So he basically is hairy as fuck. Like, go back, go back, go back. Like, he's, he's six foot four rah, 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 or some shit like that. And every day he seems to be getting taller. I do not know if he's just standing up, up straight and evolving into some type of greater god or demigod. But this man is just getting finer and finer and hairier for some reason. I don't know. It's like... I actually like furry shit, by the way. So I know. So... <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, I... It just... He is just really huge and the, those that's the type of guys that I like I like huge guys who are like hairy and have hair and something to play with and are big all over the place so it's just like yeah so the first time I actually like thought of that nickname was when <clears throat> this is the first time I actually ever met him where um we're shooting joints behind someone's house somewhere so um yeah, I actually know it was him at the time because I had just been there and I was like, peace, hey, pass it, alright, cool, shit, great vibes, and all that. So I was like, and I, it got to the point where I wanted to be and, I, and it was like, it was dark. We had been gunning it since the afternoon and it had suddenly gotten dark, like out of like no way. I looked up and it was like darkness. I was like, shit, we have to go. Like, to the toilet first, then go. So, I was like, there was trees and shit. There was no light. So, and I'm blind. I'm legally blind. I would like to think I'm legally blind. But everyone who knows me knows that I can't see in the darkness. And I just like, guess. So, I was walking towards where the bathroom was. And I turn a corner and <sighs> this huge young at look, he used to be bigger. Like when I say bigger, he was like huge. He was a wall. And he was bigger than my ex and which was like hmm. It was really it was nice because when my ex wanted to like square up to him, my ex would be shorter than him. I was like, yeah, go stand, nigga. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Don't be like, <laughs> So, yeah. It's like, it was scary, man. It was dark. I, it was scary. I turned the corner, looked up, bumped into some huge... I thought, look, I thought... Bro, I almost pissed myself at one point, to be honest. Because it was just like... <laughs> and I screamed too. It was like a... It was like a... Yeah! Like, ugh, nigga, what are you doing here? You shouldn't just, like, make some... Make a noise. Let your feet make noise. Like, I hate it when people go around just walking around quietly like who the fuck are you to be walking around quietly like have some fucking manners and make some noise when you're like walking around me because i can't hear you when you're walking around me and it scares me when people creep up on me like it's he does it every he still does it he still he did it he anyway this fucking that's how he got the name gorilla to be honest because he scared me in the darkness and honestly y'all think that white people are racist by like saying that oh black people are scary in the dark no you know 
A big hulking nigga in the dark is scary. Even you would be afraid of a huge nigga in the dark. So that's connecting to the main storyline at hand about why my legs is... I cannot really close my legs right now. This story is... You see, there was a meme going actually around where they were like... They said um, there was a meme going around on Twitter saying... Um, Ghanaian women come, uh, call for um, lockdown because Ghanaian men are fucking them too much. I would have been in front of them holding the plaque, <laughs> to be honest. Because, in all honesty, it wasn't my fault, okay? Because what had happened was that um, I, started, I started a quarantine on my period. Like, fucking dick mood move from the world. Like, everybody at that point in time was raving that, oh my god, quarantine sex with boo, da 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 da, oh my god, I suck this dick. And remember when they were doing the the TikTok challenge where you walk up to your boyfriend naked and then he smiled? I couldn't do that. I could It was like, I just wanted to be... Ugh. I just wanted to join in on the fucking fun for once in my life. Because, in all honesty, I'm this type of person that I'm like, oh no, don't go with the hype, but you know what? I want to go with the hype because I'm in a happy relationship. Excuse you, Lucy, and pass the joint. So, um, yeah, thank you. So, wow. Okay. Hack. Regardless of that, so... So what he had did, so my period came, I couldn't have sex. And you guys know that if you're, you all been listening, let me just update y'all if you're all a newcomer. Ah, yeah, welcome. If you're new, I take talking to you, take thoughts, sit down at the back and pass you a joint. There's some whiskey. Yeah, everyone introduce yourself. So, yeah, there, there had been... A slowing down of the dick train before the quarantine. And I was like, okay, this quarantine, yeah, I'm going to be in charge. I'm going to take this dick. He won't say no. I will suck him dry, right? Okay, that was the plan. Then my period came and I was like, you know what? It's fine. Let's just tough this out and then we'll make, we'll make up for it the moment this shit is over, okay? Right, but then, 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 plot twist, plot twist, motherfuckers, okay, plot twist. I was like, no, why should you be aggressively tugging on his junk every single time? You're a grown woman, you're a fucking feminist, he's supposed to be bowing down to your fucking goddamn greatness and licking that pussy, nigga, bitch ass. It was a whole thing with me at one point. So I had that mental talk to myself, and I walked up to this nigga, and I was like, uh, it wasn't really in that voice, but I was like, I can't remember in what tone of voice that I really like said it in. But I was like, okay, I'm not gonna touch your dick or ride you until like um, you ferociously attack me. And so he did. I mean, I dared the nigga. I did. I said it. I dared. I was like, I looked him in the balls. I said, I dare you, nigga to ferociously fuck me like almost every fucking day and it might seem like i'm complaining right now but this is technically your diary and i am entitled to be saying this bullshit on here so at the moment the status report is that i couldn't sit down i was in pain for a couple of days because i think i took it <laughs> I look back, uh, I, I've said that I like being choked and slapped a couple of times at a uh, pounded at um, ferociously, f uh, when I say ferociously, f f yeah, there was a lot of fucking and pummeling in angles. And so the left side of my body was in pain. And I was like, okay, maybe it's my period, but then. 
I was like, no way. It's actually coming from a, a part where, because what he liked to do is that he had, he liked to choose a fucking angle that's on my left side. And that's where I squirt, right? You see, this is a fucking trick. This is the trick he does. This is him. <sighs> Conspiracy. This man is trying to kill me. Okay? So I'm just saying that if you love me, please tell him to continue fucking me like that because I absolutely enjoy it. But then the left side of my body was paralyzed and then I still can't cough without seeing pain. Yes, like literally seeing pain, like, ooh, yeah, white flash, like, ooh, mm, <clears throat> Oh, yeah, that, that even hurt. So we took some time off and um yeah it's all good it's all it's it's, it's cool it's cool bounced up with my period again but you know what we're just gonna let this ride out and then we're gonna go back to continue fucking ferociously because we all know that i've had time to heal already lesson learned ha moving on to the, the, the third question at fucking hand this might be a very long one, my niggas. Like, I've never done a long one like this. Like, <clears throat> how... The third one is called, How Did This All Start? Mm. Whew. 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 That is hotter than the gorilla's fox. Mm. And I've had a lot of them in my face recently. Like, I think it's his mating call right now to fart in my face. I don't know why you guys do this because it's just fucking ridiculous right now. Like, I love you, but it's like farts. Like, it might. Mm. Okay, there are farts that are acceptable, but when they just they form a cloud around your center of being, <laughs> and just they they it hangs there. It hangs there for like a minute, and it's like heavy. You can feel it on your, you know, bleach the reaksu. Like when Kempachi, remember when Ichigo first met Kempachi and he was powered down by the reaksu? <laughs> That's how I felt under this nigga's farts, my nigga. It's like, ah, oh, oh, shit. Anyway, moving go. How did I start this shit? How did I start? The Tic Tac told you, this is so. The Tic Tac show started um, actually in my bathroom. That's a huge story, actually. But I'm just going to summarize it real quick because I have two more questions to answer. And if you guys want me to do a detailed video about how this all started, I'm going to actually do it later. But um, basically, this all started in my bathroom about my friends and I just talking about how we feel. And then we just thought about, okay, why can't we just create a podcast, which probably no one will listen to anyway, and just talk about how we feel then weekend and week out maybe bi-weekly even talk about what we really go through as females in this society <coughs> oh my god i'm a pig please call me a pig so i was saying that <laughs> yes i got it I do not have an alcohol problem. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's how we actually came up. It was just a bunch of friends coming together and just saying, okay, we want to talk about shit that people can actually relate to, people can actually listen to, people are entertained by, people actually believe that it's believable because there are people that do have sex like me, man. Trust me. I talk to a lot of weird people online. It's not just me. There's a whole bunch of y'all that, and I see you. But yeah, okay, I think we have to make this four. I think we need to make this four. So I'm gonna choose the most interesting one. Um, okay. Are you always graphic about everything on your podcast? Okay. This is how I speak, so fuck you. I am very graphic about. Okay, I like to speak in detail. To like spur on imagination so you really know where I'm coming from, alright? Um, I think that 
We shouldn't sugarcoat things as well because you know you was fucking that nigga. So why are you sugarcoating it? You know you know you're not using condoms. You know you're you're eating someone's ass. So it's just like why are you sugarcoating it? It's just the same thing like the coronavirus. People are saying that oh don't talk about how people are gonna die and how we have to like do no. People are dying, people are gonna die, just like you are going to have unprotected sex in the next couple of days just because you have been starved of it, okay? It's the same fucking thing as me speaking graphically. Sometimes you just have to accept it. Sometimes it's just like, you know, plus I did study creative writing. That's a plus, so I know a lot of words. But yeah, graphic content content is something that I love because in my mind, I can't imagine things without graphically speaking about them anyway. Which is a plus to you because now you have this whole bundle of an episode to actually show to your friends about... Oh, I don't even know about what. <sighs> this has been a great episode, so <clears throat> y'all need to get out and... Um, Thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Text Thoughts. This has been a great update. Y'all take care of yourselves now, alright? Don't forget to like, subscribe, nigga. Subscribe and share to your mom. Bye.